Can I take this pillow off for you? Yeah. Okay, and then you'll feel better, huh? There you go. Yeah. Ugh. And then sit up and push that pillow back. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to take off this pillow. Okay, we'll leave this pillow on so it's comfortable. Leave this pillow on. There you go. Better? Yeah. Okay. So uh, can I tell you some things about math? Yeah. Do you know what math is? Yeah. Math is a way to work with the numbers and stuff. Do you know numbers? Yeah. What's your favorite number? I love A. Yeah, that is I actually. Love, I love a blue A. A blue A. So let's draw that, OK? But A is sort of a letter. <laughs> we could start with that. We can draw a black A. How about a black X? Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, we'll do a black X. Actually, numbers can be letters. Can I show you? Yeah. All right, cool. Today we're going to be doing expressions and formulas for yay math. It's an algebra topic. Can you say yay math? No. Okay, yeah, you don't have to, actually. It's an optional thing to say. Let me show you what expressions and formulas are, okay? If you have any questions, will you tell me what they are? Yeah. All right, thanks so much. So suppose you have x equals 4, y equals negative 3, and z equals 2.5. See, these are letters and numbers. And if you wanted to do math with them, it would look something like this. Let's say you wanted to do x plus y minus 2 times z. You want to do this math together? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So what we have to do is, see this x here? It's actually 4. So we're going to put the 4 right here. You ready to put it in? Yeah. Okay, check it out. See, this is 4. 4 plus y is? Do you know what it is? Yeah. Say. 5. <laughs> yeah. I was actually going to guess that, but my first guess was negative 3. What did you say it was? 5. By. By. Okay. Yeah. Y by the way is negative 3. And then we'll throw in Z. Could you just tell me what Z is real quick? Baday. Baday. Baday is code for 2.5, which is sort of your age. So I understand your answer. So let's do actually the math here. By order of operations, what is order of operations? PEMDAS, right? Yeah. T tell me what that is. PEMDAS. Dada. Daddy. PEM daddy. Do you pick this shirt? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. You did pick the shirt from the rack. Thank you for that. It's actually very boring. Uh, so PEMDAS is the order of operations. And here you see multiplication comes first. That's all we have to do. So we're going to do 2 times 2 and a half. That's like double your age. How old will you be at double your age? I'm going to do 2, 7. 2, 7. Close. I was going to say 5. But that's pretty awesome. And then we do 4 plus negative 3. I results in negative 1. You want to do it together? I can give you a marker. Once you add these up, down 1, down 5 together makes down 6. I want to do it together. I want to do Here. I don't want to do it. I'm going to do um, Take blue. Take blue. I'm going to take the black one. Take the black one. All right, you'll actually help me do the ne this next part? Yeah. All right, hook it up. I'll put this here for you. You're doing Let's great. Put on my leg. Yeah, we don't need it on your leg. Let's try some different problems. All right. We're erasing the dada -da for pem dada. -da. Ready to do more ones? Two, let's try two x plus y. This is actually, it looks simple, but you go, you got it? Some people actually make it harder than it is. You could actually help me write if you want. I'm gonna throw in these numbers. And Four. then I'm this one. Yeah, please throw them on. That's actually really insightful. I didn't want to do calculus right now. We're going to save that for later, OK? Yeah. OK, OK, so just stick to algebra. So what some people do, actually, is that they uh, distribute this unnecessarily. And rather than distribute this unnecessarily, which is 8, this. Is this do it. Okay? Yeah, you're just like my students. <laughs> Raise your hand. <laughs> rather than distributing, we can just add within the parentheses. So that's two times I one. I want to use the blue one. No. Blue what one's about yours. Me? That's a pretty one. Here, this is blue for you. This is blue for me. Hook it up. I took this off, but you took it off. 
All right, so it's pretty much plugging in and getting order of operations. All right, the last one we'll do in this regard. Yeah. The reason I'm putting this one on is that some people actually simplify or think they're simplifying by doing negative four and negative four canceling. It doesn't work that way. Exactly. I'm glad to look at you. Here, you want to take that black one? Rather than canceling these both, we actually have to plug in and make sure we get a singular no, number put, at the top. Put the cap on this Here, put the cap on and stick with blue only now. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here you go. Stick with blue only. And I'm going to throw these numbers in. We're going to get 4 squared. We can go through I it as 16. Here, put it on. Plugging in negative three. They call this math with obstacles. <laughs> Two. Where does it go? Either side. Whatever you feel comfortable with. 2.5 in here. This one. What's this one? Yeah, you did it. 16. No, it's plus 12. On this side. 28. This is the Can ultimate you challenge. Help me? Will. There you go. Better? Oh, on the other side. Okay, draw me a really fancy equation. And now 2 minus 4 times 2.5 is 10. Okay. That's 2 minus 10. Thank you for that help. That's really helpful. That's 28 over negative 8. Go ahead, take it off. Both simplify by 2. Here. This is a great preview to our home life. Um, you figure it out. Here. Put this one you do it. But on this part Divide both by negative 2 or 2. 14 Here over. You Actually, you 4. Here you I think we're going to have to pivot from this one. Thank you. You know what? There's another board there. Can you write on that one now? You ready to write on that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to say bye for a second? Say bye. No? no? <laughs> You're fully immersed. Here, go over here and write on that board. It's all yours. Go for it. Go for it. All right, so now we're going to divide both these by negative 4, or positive 4. <laughs> it's a common factor. 4 goes into this 7 times. 4 goes into this negative 2 times. So you get negative 7 over 2. Basically, the idea is just plugging in appropriately, following your order of operations. Take that. It's on the floor. Go ahead. It's on the floor. Look at my finger. Right there. And plugging in appropriately. All right. Let's do one more. Sort of a real world problem. I love cleaning it. Everything you say, you just reply with something that makes sense to the moment. So it says, suppose the area of a circle is pi r squared. That's given. And then they give us this image here. And suppose the image has this line here called the diameter. So what we have to do is we have to create an expression using the r that we know of from this image. All right, And this is an r. This is actually the diameter of the entire circle. And r, the radius, is the space from the center to the edge. I know, riveting. I know, it makes me lose my breath, too. <laughs> so what would R be in this case? Is it safe to say that R would be half? Is R, is R half of the diameter? Is R half the diameter? <laughs> nice, nice. I agree. So if we want half the diameter, here's the diameter, and split it. That would mean that the 2 divides into both of these, and that results in a radius of x plus 3. So that would represent the radius. So now if we plug that in, our problem's done, expressing the area based on this image. So instead of pi r squared, we know to put in whatever r is. In this case, r x plus 3. OK? Any questions, little friend? Come up here and look at it. Yeah. What do you think? Do you understand? 
Does it make sense to you? Yeah. Is it two seven? Yeah. I want to put down. Of course. Bye. <laughs> the diameter is Mom, all the way can across. You wipe it off? Yeah. Can you wipe this yeah. off? There you go. Johnny on the spot. You. You're welcome, sis.